Hey guys and welcome back to Landstriders Futures Edge server hosted by aim to game where I have been doing a few things off of camera. First thing I want to show you is down and through this way. You will notice, or at least the sharp eyed of you will, that we have put a few more crops down here. This is all the new seeds that I collected whilst trying to find the scallion. Uh, still no sign of the scallion, but we have expanded our food base, which is quite awesome. You will notice these chests are still here, but mainly they are empty. I've been doing my best to empty them over the course of well the past couple of hours and i have done and put <laughs> i have done and put everything in all of these uh drawers over here i've kind of lost my way with the sorting on this side but here we've got wood and we've got the metals mostly just precious here but you know there's a few things that have made their way over like nether quartz and gunpowder that just kind of fit with the other things that are going there no doubt at some point redstone will get its own little area because you know there's just so much stuff to build from redstone now you might be saying well that's all nice and well but you haven't even got a like four walls and a, and a roof well i've got a roof but four walls going on right now and i would agree with you right now the lack of walls and kind of stuff over this side is really letting down the whole feel of this build uh, but that, unfortunately, is because I don't have much iron here. So I think we need to start getting on with some technology quests so we can get our ore doubling on the go. If we come into the quest... Can I walk around? It's, no, 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 it's them walking around. I, I carried on pressing W and I thought I could hear me carrying on walking, but of course it would have been the villagers. Okay, in the tech tree here, we have two that we can go for. Either get the Bronze Age or primitive tech. Now, the Bronze Age actually involves using a whole, whole host of machines, which I don't have. So we're going to have to start with this primitive tech. Uh, Coke brick, which I believe is for making a Coke oven. I mean, it kind of makes sense, Coke brick, Coke oven. So let's have a look in here. So to make this, we need some clay, some bricks, and some sandstone. Now, thankfully, I have just got my way back from a resource gathering uh, quest. Just out over here, I managed to nab myself a few bits of clay. And over here, you should now be seeing a little video of me going around and using three stone sho shovels to smash up as much sand as I could. Having trouble with my shush, shush, shush noises so far. Now, unfortunately, I've only got eight bits of brick cooked up, so we're going to have to make a few of these. In fact, let's, let's see how far we need to go with this, because, of course... These quests are, uh, these recipes are notorious for giving you many bits of coal block per, per craft. Okay, so you get two per go. How many was it that it wanted us to make? I've got a horrible feeling it was eight, but let's go in and have a look. It is eight. Okay, so we're halfway there. Let's do it again. So I put these furnaces down here for convenience, but I've got to say, putting the coal all the way over here is not super convenient. Okay, so we've got all of these together to make... Ev oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot to make the sandstone. It's not any big deal, though. A small craft later makes that. Two more... Uh, four more coke bricks should make us our quest uh now that's that one done but of course it is a two-part quest forgot to mention that earlier we need to make the engineer's hammer this is in the nei jei of course just the not uh, just enough items not nei uh so i need string two iron ingots which might be a little bit too much let's see well we know it's not because i've got seven on the go uh, up here i might have a few sticks i do this is kind of just a random uh, wood chest uh, because i didn't know where to put them i didn't want to give them all their own individual drawer slots i mean maybe the oak fence could do with having one but i, I really didn't think it all needed that much okay so sticks iron and string make the engineer's hammer that is awesome the entire quest is complete and we get to pick well, we don't. We get to claim some more coke oven bricks. All right, sound. So we've got 16 here. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this works, which means this is going to be hilarious. Uh, we're going to pop these down in the standard 3x3 three three pattern that almost all these multi-blocks come in by. Okay, then you jump back, right-click it with your engineer's hammer. Try not to pull a torch down. I don't think this right-hand, uh, off-hand action was really designed for use with mods. And we've got this new thing to play with. Uh, I need to put, like, some sort of 
air vent system coming out of it because it is indeed a coke oven we take the coal i'm gonna put maybe 16 and pop them in there now after an excruciating long time the uh this will turn into coke here you can see coal coke there and give us some creosote which is what we actually need to get on with our next quest in the like base quest line the serious workbench you know Sometimes after stopping and thinking about what you've just said, you sit there and go, is that true? Is that really what I meant to say? Because of course we can do the bronze ingots here, so we can enter the bronze age very, very equally. We do uh, easily, sorry. We don't need any furnaces or smelters or anything like that. We just munge the two together with our bare hands. I mean, what else would we want to do? So we've got either a woven building backpack, quarter of a heart or a sturdy casing. Well, we have just shown that we can make the bronze for the sturdy casings and the quarter of the heart. Well, we're getting loads from the phantoms that keep on attacking us. So I think we're going to go for the woven building black backpack. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Whilst that may be true, we are still halfway down a another quest line. So over towards this coke oven here, I really want more futuristic signs. This this is this is terrible. If there was a way I could make a holographic projection over this, that that would be great. Okay, so in here you can see we've been making all this creosote as well as some coke. I mean, like who who cares about that? And we can make an entire bucket's worth here. Now, if we take this outside, there is another quest that we are going to be doing. If we take a look inside the quest line in the tech tree and treated wood, we need to do the treated wood planks and the treated wood sticks. That's all we need to do. So in here, well, I thought I was already looking at it. Oh, the treated wood planks. So you just need some planks around the bucket of creosote. I, I already knew that, actually. I, I really should have just gone ahead and done the craft here. So just around like that, and there's the creosote. I kept on seeing that water bucket, and I was like, that's not the one I'm looking for. So we made the wood planks. Now, do we need to make more than that, or is that all we want? I only want one, so that, that's pretty good, actually. I could have just gone straight ahead and made this. That probably would have done... Yeah, the quest straight away. So what are we going to choose as our reward? Oh, you know what? I think we're going to wait. Whilst the slime balls can be got, I think these basic gears might also be relatively simple to make. So we're going to hold on until we see what it is we want there. Coils of wire. Okay, much wire is needed to make a generator. Okay, I, I could go down for making a generator. So let's make the engineer wire, wire cutters. Engineer's wire cutters. Ah, uh, simple. It's just iron and some treated sticks. Okay, so the wire cutters were nice and easy. I'm just going to get the copper wire, exact naming of what it is we want to make here. Copper wire. Okay, so we need to make some copper plates, which are done with the hammer and two ingots. Okay, I should have a, a fair amount of copper made here. I'm not sure how much we're going to make, how much we're going to need. So I'm going to turn 16 ingots into into plates and then wire I, I think this should be the way ahead it said we needed a lot so yeah that that should be cool okay that's the coils of wire we're getting closer to having power and then also closer to having double doors which is what this is all actually about okay it wants us to make a power generation unit now okay it's the kin kinematic dynamo oh no kinetic dynamo kinematic what is that Oh, wow, this one's actually really expensive. Not this, but this copper coil. That's eight of these low-voltage wires, which makes uh, 32 or 64 of the... Uh, it's 32. Four times six is 32 uh, of these. Four times 80 is 32. Wow, what is wrong with my maths when I'm recording? Okay, that's the LV wire. Uh, what else did we need? We needed a bit of iron for the middle. And is it three more for the outside? Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh no, I'm out of iron. Thankfully, I have a little bit of iron ore here. It's not much, though. It's really not much. We're going to have to cook it on sticks. Well, no. I mean, I've got enough coal just to let it burn, really. So, that's the copper coil block. And because I'm a good YouTuber, I've prepared this over here so you don't have to watch me making it all again. The kinem... Uh, <laughs> I keep saying kinematic. The kinetic dynamo. So, inside, we get to pick a reward. Now, most people have been going for water wheels on the server, I've noted. And that probably means that it's a more efficient use or something like that. But I have noticed the windmill. And I like windmills, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, yeah. And then I said, if you don't stop picking up my villagers, I'm going to take all your feathers. 
whatever's, mate. I know, I know. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, guys. So, a real world night has happened, and a few things have happened on the server. You can see this over here. I've managed to make this look good. I've also gone around and replaced a few of these fans with different ones, just to kind of break up the monotony of it all. I've also been working on the kitchen area, and I've decided that this, this is just not good enough. I need many, many fridges, many kitchen counters along here, I think, maybe. Uh, but that's going to take a whole lot of materials. But look at this. You see this little window here? You remember how we were saying how there's no glass panes? Well, there's glass panes. All you got to do is work at it. So if we have a look at this glass block here, uh, I've got this chisel, the stone chisel. And if I just kind of click on it, I can take stuff away from the layers of glass. I can take the layers of glass away. Don't worry about the funny shape. That's just ha happens to be how I kept it. And then you can take these chiseled bits. Uh, I also actually want to break this one down because this, this is the one I've actually been using. Uh, you can use any type of glass, any type of block, in fact. Any type of block you like. Now, I don't want the glass one. What I'm looking for is the glass... Oh, are they two different types of glass? If you press shift, you can see what block these little bits have been made out of. So I actually do want this one. Press shift. Yeah, that one. Okay. Now, when holding on to these, what you can do is put down single bits. And, like, because we're using glass, you don't you don't see much. Look, there's, there's a little thing there. Uh, but we're going to take that away. Because there's a much better way of doing things. If I press and hold alt... Oh, I haven't seen... Oh, undo and redo. That's nice. We have this draw region section, which to me is possibly one of the most powerful tools I've ever seen in Minecraft. We click and we hold to the bit where we want it to go to. You can see how wide it is and stuff like that. And look, there we go. An entire window just gets put into place like that. I love it. I love it. I did things a little bit differently here. You can see I've put another layer of this... Um, factory block up top which means you can mix and match these bits in any manner you like hey dude how's it going uh you you've no no need to have like an entire block being glass you can have the entire block being glass glowstone factory block a little bit of water in there any, anything you want absolutely anything you want but that's not all oh no no oh hey bevel guys here hey Landstrider also came for a little visit yesterday and dropped me this table round, which is just unbelievably powerful. First off, you'll notice that we have all these different uh, categories of shapes. Uh, absolutely amazing to get started with before we go anywhere else. I'll just look at them all. But I think I'm going to go for classical. Let's go, I don't know, let's say this pillar. Okay, so we'll make one of those. And I'll also make a top one if I can. This one here, yes. And then you get to just put down these building blocks, much like this one here, in any manner you... Uh, it does mess around with the inventory tweaks a little bit. If you click around, you can then find it again. But look at that. Look at that pillar there. You can also make little spheres. I mean, can you imagine a blob of glowstone like this? I think it is going to be amazing. Anyway, should we do a quest? I think I think it's time we got on with a, tw a quest. Uh, not the tech tree. In the beginning, once more, I did actually intend to do this engineer's workbench a little bit earlier, but I got sidetracked with the whole coke oven situation and stuff like that. Uh, let's first go into the kitchen. I'm not sure what we're going to call this place. I need to think of a name for it so I can put some uh, signage up. I've eaten that recently. Uh, batter's no good for me. Let's go for the pumpkin muffin. Why would I not have a pumpkin muffin? Oh, yeah. Okay, so back inside. I've actually made another bucket of creosote in the last um, the last time we were out here. I made two and only took away one. But we want to come over here and get ourselves eight planks. I believe it is eight planks of any description. So I'm just going to grab another birch uh, like that. I, we should, should be able just to run these all out like this. Pop this in there. Treated wood. Okay, we've already done that once before. That is nice and easy. And this is the thing we're headed for. So we need a crafting table and some treated wood fence, which is treated wood and treated sticks. I think we can handle that. Have I got stuff up here? What's going on up here? We've got two treated wood planks. Let's take those and uh, two sticks. Okay, so the sticks are going to help us make the 
fence as we have just discussed that's cool uh, I do not have any way of making a craft bench on me but we can change that to be honest I've got lots of craft benches kind of scattered around everywhere I know we can make a portable craft bench and take it with us but I, I just ended up being uh, ended up making the normal ones hey, a serious workbench oh yeah so in the quest line we can take all sorts of blueprints. Oh, wow. Common projectiles, specialized projectiles, or the Arc Furnace Electrode. I've got a feeling we're going to end up taking that one, but not knowing what we need, I'm going to just leave it like that for now. Now, this maintenance-only way seems to be where I'm going to be doing almost all of my immersive engineering. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. I have no idea how to use this. So we'll obviously put a blueprint in there, and then it will uh, craft out, maybe? I will have to find what's going on with that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is our windmill. Now, obviously, we've got uh, the windmill from Immersive Engineering. In fact, let's go over and grab it out. Man, I just realized how messy my inventory is. We're going to have to try and sort that out. That's because I've just been going around and doing a whole load of things. Oh, hey there. You were a cleric. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I would like to trade with you. Uh, emerald for red stuff. No, do you not take rotten flesh? Is that not what you do? Ah, sad times. Uh, what about the guard? No, the guard's not going to take rotten flesh. In fact, they take iron and... I really want to get my trade on with these guys, but no one seems to take anything in the standard way. There's no, like, standard trade lists to go for. There's coal. I could trade coal, but that's a lot of coal for that. Anyway, we're going to go out this way, and we're going to have a look at this little... Uh, pillar over here. Let's break this. I think I'm just gonna throw it. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna throw it up there. Ah, uh, this building backpack keeps stealing all my stuff. That's fine though. That is fine. Well, it's not fine, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. So I'm gonna run this up here. Thankfully, the uh, builder's backpack didn't steal my factory block. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually put this kinetic dynamo right here. Now, I'd really like it if I could take power off the back. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a thick. What is this? That's not what I want. Uh, can we do it with that? Uh, maybe with the axe? Do I not have an axe? I do not have an axe on me. And for those of you waiting for the let me axe you a question pun, go, go take an elocution lesson or something. Hey. Okay, so let's come up here and try it on this manner. Okay, that, that looks cool. This should actually... Oh, look at that. Start spinning almost immediately. When you're up close like this, it's a little bit whoa, disorientating. Okay, so the next thing we need to do to take power from this is get an LV connector. Let, let's have a look. This might actually be part of the quest line, but we need these LV connectors. Where are they? Well, there's the LV wire. It's got to be somewhere. There we go. Connector and relay. Now, as far as I'm aware, and I might be very wrong here because I've not looked up anything, um, like any wikis or anything, the LV connectors are for running one wire out of, and the LV relays are for running multiple wires out of. I think so. If I've got that wrong, drop me a comment because, you know, I am a bit of an idiot when it comes to a lot of these quests. So I think the next two quests could take us straight to the sag mill if we do this right. The chassis and the semi-autonomous grinding, or sag mill. I, I, I think that's what that is. I don't quite recognise the shape of the box, but I, I've got a feeling that is the line we want to take. And if we have a look in at the chassis uh, crafting here, you can see the basic gears were actually a reward from a quest that we wanted to take in. So if I go to the quest, I believe it was tech tree and treated wood. Over this way, you can see I've got got some basic gear so if I grab those four we can use them to make our chassis now the other things we need to make a basic capacitor should be relatively simple redstone gold and copper things that I should have in relatively large amounts so I've been digging around quite a lot so we've got definitely the, the redstone yep good uh three bits of copper two bits of copper I cannot remember one bit of copper of course it's never the thing that I say is it so I'll grab two anyway just in case uh, and we'll come over here and do a little crafting so that's two of the three materials we need the last one is steel and suddenly we realize we have to come to a crashing halt because the steel can only be got in the blast furnace which if we check our quest line 
uh, is actually... Well, it's not even on here, is it? But we have to go to the nether before we can get steel and, and all sorts of things. So I will see you in a second, guys. So with that spanner being thrown in the works, I think we're going to have to do something else to wrap up this episode rather than get the ore doubling done. And where I'm going, I don't need water or a bed. Some of you may be able to guess what's going on at this point, but we're going to come over and give another clue as we grab all the obsidian. I mean, literally all the obsidian now you see that block over there i think that one we are going to change uh purpose of uh i'm not sure what it was we oh a little bit of spring back on the go there i'm not sure what it was we had this earmarked for to begin with but its placement kind of screams to me that it would be perfect for a travel agency or something like that someone who uh directs travel in and out of the great arcology that we have going on here now i wasn't quite expecting the glowstone and perhaps with this bit of glowstone we'll come along and do some chisel and bits experiments and see if we can uh get some uh, get some glowstone bits that also admit light i'm not sure whether that is a thing that happens i know the nooks used to do that but there we go that is a uh a portal setup i just want to quickly grab the coordinates also did a quick bit of maths as well because I am not 100% convinced that we're going to come out with our own portal on the other side. Now this could be deadly. I didn't actually bring any blocks with me to build a small barrier. This... Aha. Okay, so the barrier is already out. Oh, hey. Uh, you you want to go somewhere else, mate. Bye-bye. Uh, we are very close in, but I think we should be able to take care of that. Ooh, so yes, we are definitely not where we need to be. There is a button up here. I hope there's a button outside. I do have... It's an invisible pressure plate. It's an invisible pressure plate. Okay, that's that's cool. There's a load of um, quartz already over there. Now, I happen to know that if I want to go home, I can't use this portal. Because, you know, I've played Minecraft before. I know how this works. And I think where I need to go is actually down in X and... Yes, definitely down in Z. So we want to go this way somewhat. Oh, it look it looks so super dangerous. At the same time, I am going to collect some netherrack, though I've only got a uh, stone pickaxe. Oh, oh, this this may have been a massive oversight. Let's go see if I can get a pickaxe from someone's place. Of course, I'm not actually going to be able to get a pickaxe from anybody's place because they're all going to have their places protected. Uh, I just wanted to borrow some some wood. I just want uh, not some wood, some uh, stone. Oh, are we actually underground? Uh, whose base are we in here? I recognise it. Ooh, things going on. Thing one. We are at Esks. No, no, no. Is this Grimm's? It's so hard to tell. All, all the, all the villagers look the same. Are we actually? No, we're not at Landstriders. I'm, I'm fairly sure of that. <laughs> I've got. No, I'm fairly sure. No, of course we are at Landstriders. Oh yeah, look at, look at this, guys. Ooh. I've got a weird mod installed that enables me to do that. Unfortunately, the J button is going in the other direction, and that just happens to be also the direction of uh, the button I need to press for my map. Okay, with that ridiculous oversight taken care of, let's try and dig our tunnel to where we want to be. Wow, loading screens. Okay, back in the nether. Let me out of this cobble box. A little bit lost, a little bit lost. Now, I believe it was over this way. We were going to come up here and dig through this wall over here. I'm once again going to need my coordinate system up. For those of you who are wondering how I found out where I need to put my next portal, all I did was write down the coordinates of the portal, divided the X and Z by 8. Oh, can I break that with the tool I've got? I can. Okay, awesome. Uh, and that gave me the coordinates I wanted. So 165 minus 165 is what we're after. So we just got to keep on digging. Alternatively, I could be going the wrong direction completely. I want to go this way. It is 42 on the Z minus 165 on the X, which is actually over there somewhere, isn't it? Ah, this might not be. Ooh, it's going to be over there, isn't it? It's it's going to be over there. Let's try and get as close as we can. Now the real question is: Are pigment immediately aggroed at us? I'm not sure what I can do about it if they are. I try and run away over. Whoa! Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to deal with other people at the moment. Oh, no. Okay, so he doesn't seem to be too much. Seriously? Get out of here. What was that? Well, I just got a boom achievement. That's good. That's good. Uh, got to keep an eye out a little bit more. I've got a feeling that having the map hidden isn't the idea. What are you? 
Uh, 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 let's put that on my, my thing. It doesn't matter whether I've got my shield up or not. That's that's not great. Uh, okay, this, this is all good, though. 165. We're getting closer every second. Oh, what is that? Things that cannot be dealt with. Maybe maybe I don't want my own portal. Why would I want my own portal? This this sounds like a crazy idea. What I do want, however, is this guy. Uh, we'll try and do something about it. So going round and round in circles seems to have worked with him. Oh, uh, there's another one coming in. Maybe maybe this isn't where I want to be. Let's uh, let's run away, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna just choose land striders thing for a little while. I mean, I, really, I just want to go round somewhere else. Let's. Hmm, let's run this way. Like, if I run... If I'm running full pelt, they can't catch me because all the mobs are slow in this game. All the mobs are slow. Uh, and I've gone past where I want to be. Ah, oh, it's going to be right here, isn't it? 16542. So 16542 is all the way down there. Oh, um, oh, man. Are you kidding me? Like, this is... This is where I need to put a portal. Ah, oh, okay. We're going to have to build a house at some point. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to dig into this wall, make myself a little bit safe, and think about what I'm going to do. I don't have any bar, uh, blocks on my bar. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just build my portal right here in the hope that it is actually contained. Is that enough space there? I think it should be. Um, not contained, is close enough to uh, join up with my portal, to sync with my portal. I think it should be. It's uh, quite a wide radius, and it always goes for the closest. And I did ma manage to make sure that I was closer than Landstrider's portal. Ooh, I really panicked there for a little bit. I thought we it was all going to be over. Uh, okay, let's just eat up, because, you know, feeding would be good. Well, if this goes to my place, we're going to come back with a door, maybe an iron door. Yeah, probably iron over wood. Okay, I think we're full of health enough to go back through and see what's going on. Awesome, we are exactly where I wanted to be. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time. We're going to find out what we need from the nether to make steel. We're then going to get the sag mill on the go and get the ore doubling and just have all the stuff. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!